<clears throat> I'm a compulsive walker in the winter when it's too cold to bicycle, and in the summer I'm a compulsive cyclist. I don't have a particularly good bike, it's just a cruiser with no gears. But I get on that stupid thing and go for four hours, five hours, six hours, stopping only to sit down and have coffee somewhere. Um, there's a reason why I do this. I often don't admit this to myself because it seems to be counterintuitive and uh, that's essentially I guess the off chance that uh, I'll have one of those moments while I'm out riding my bike where everything calms down, the, especially the mind, um, where I'm not really thinking anything, I'm not concentrating on anything, uh, I'm not bothered by other events in my life, um, I'm not uh, thinking about the past or the future or what I'm going to do five minutes from now, or whatever. It's just I'm in this state of, I guess, pure being, or in the moment, or whatever you want to call that. Now, that's just a crude sort of way of expanding, or not expanding, rather, but exploring what's going on in here. There are people that um, seem to make a vocation of this. Monks, or uh, contemplatives, or people like this. Um... I'm sort of haphazardly trying to evoke, I guess, what one could call the Zen moment, and this feeling is so profound, although it doesn't really seem profound when you're having it, but just compared to your normal workaday sort of experience and your normal state of mind, it ends up being profound, even though it's just another sort of state of consciousness. Um, we're talking about consciousness here. Now, um, we're not quite sure what consciousness is, or we can't really agree what it is, uh, which is one issue. Um, how many of us actually try and walk around up in here and figure out what the experience of it is, what it all means, what, what it's doing, what, what it means to be on the receiving end, or the, not even, uh, the sort of analyzing end of all the impulses, or the non-impulses that we're getting? Um, I think that bothering with external definitions of it and figuring out where it comes from is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, what does it mean to be conscious? What are the multitudinous possibilities uh, of the experience of it all? The mind boggles when you think about it. 